Hi viewers, in this video we are presenting three column cash book, purely introduction. This video definitely helpful for and degree first year, first semester purpose. So actually in accountancy very important book is three column cash book. Why because this is represents three types of accounting principles like these are personal account, real account and nominal account. So here personal account represents bank account and real account represents cash account. And finally, nominal account represents discount accounts. So, three accounts principles reporting or representing book are called also three column cash book. So, three column cash book preparation purpose required some important instructions these are if given opening balance cash and bank balances in this time we are writing debit side to balance brought down so the amounts are recorded in cash amount or cash column and bank amount or bank column in next one is if given cash balance and bank credit balance time right in debit side to balance brought down that amount recorded in cash column and also in credit side by balance brought down amount are recorded in bank column so the bank credit balance are recorded in credit side Next, in case of any additional capital introduced in the time, we are writing debit side that is to capital account amount posted into cash column. Why? Because the journal entry is cash account debtor to capital account. So cash sales time debited cash account cash purchases time credited cash account so if receives checks the bank are debited if payments are paid by checks credited bank account In next one is Clearance of person's accounts time, discount column appears in credit or debit side. For example, we are receiving cash and offered discount, that is debit side. And next time, we are receiving and we are paying cash and receiving discount time that is received discount the discount are recorded in credit side and next very important point in three column cash book that is contra entry contra entry appears in three column cash book in two times first one is cash deposit into bank in that time the entry is bank account debtor to cash account so right in debit side to cash account amount recorded into bank column in credit side by bank account amount recorded into cash column and second one is withdrew cash from bank for office purpose only so take care about this second point so debit side to bank account amount recorded in cash column and credit side by cash account 
but amount recorded in bank column. In above two points of preparation of three column cash book, definitely put C mark in ledger folio column. And here giving one note point that is if the person cash withdraw for personal purpose from bank that is no entry why because the proprietor of business person receives cash for his personal purpose so there is no contra entry and finally close the three column cash book in that time cash balances always shows in debit side but bank balances shows any side debit or credit side in next discount columns the columns are only adding not balancing so try to understand of the three column cash book introduction and success in your examinations all the best